kinders, I'm going to sound like a chipmunk today because I want to be able to get through this. So I had to speed up my video. I will pause though. Hello, kinders. We've been talking about Harold and the Purple Crown, one of Mrs. Milligan's favorite books. And so we're going to draw along with him, with me. We've also talked about how purple is the superhero color because she is also known as Violet when she wears her cape. Okay, so we have Violet and Purple, Harold and the Purple Crown. I want to show you something cool today. Usually you have a piece of paper that might be this size. Today we have a big piece of paper, artist. This is going to be what we're going to draw. First thing I want you to do is think back in the book, what was Harold walking on? The first thing that he drew was his horizontal line. Okay, but first I want you to write your name on the... The first thing that we do is write our name on the bottom right. Check your shoulder, buddy. Make sure you have a purple crayon because we're just like Harold, okay? And then Harold went for a walk and there was a moon. So somewhere up top, I want you to take your finger first, your magic finger, make a curve. Okay, with your finger, make a curve. Everybody say, make a curve. Okay, so I'm going to take my crayon now and make a curve. Now, it's not gonna be perfect, that's okay. We're gonna make a crescent shape. Everybody say crescent shape. Good job. So we're gonna make a crescent shape and that is the crescent moon. So check your shoulder, buddy. Make sure we have the moon in the back. Here's my huge piece of paper. And then Harold went for a walk. So what I want you to do, here's my whole paper. Here's the middle of the paper, kind of towards the end, the bottom of the paper right here. If I take my thumb and lay it there, I'm gonna put a little dot and then that's right, I'm gonna draw Everybody say horizontal. A horizontal line that is laying flat, laying down, okay? And then the next thing that he does, I'm gonna check and make sure I can, we can see it. Yep, we can see it pretty good. Then we have where he makes a road. So I'm gonna put a little dot right there. And I'm gonna say diagonal. Take your hands and go diagonal. So draw, here's my little dot. It's kind of hard to see, make it a little brighter. And I'm gonna take diagonal going down. Everybody say diagonal going down. And take your finger and do it first. Diagonal going down. So now I'm gonna take it diagonal going down and he went on a walk and he makes a road now there's my vanishing point you'll learn that later when you get older and i'm gonna have another diagonal going right to that point so now take another diagonal going right to that point good job artist you remember artist he went on a walk and he kept walking on his path and then he comes to where a forest would be so i want you to put your hands have your hands like this okay there's the trunk and then go out go out so that's what we're going to do we're going to start with Look, there it looks like the letter L, okay? And then it goes out just a little bit. Now we're gonna overlap, we can't erase our crown, that's okay, so our pictures will be on top of something else, that's okay. So there's our tree, and if you remember, he had little pieces of grass. So draw straight little lines, okay? So there's our grass, there's our horizon line, vanishing point. And then he came, came up on a tree, so he's got his little trunk like this, okay, grows into a V, and now he puts his little circles around the tree. So I want you to think of a poofy cloud. Take your finger first, make a poofy cloud, and turn it into a tree. So there's my bump, 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 bump. Say along with me. Bump, 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 bump. There we go. And then we had some apples on the tree. I believe it was some apples on the tree. He has his apple tree. And if you remember, there was something that was frightening over here. Okay, I want you to show me a C. Take your hands and show me a C. Ooh, look at the shadow that I'm making underneath. Remember, it was a frightening dragon that would protect the tree. So right here, you're gonna come up with some zigzags. Everybody say zigzag. So we can have zigzag, 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 zig. And then we stop. And now we're gonna, I want you to think of Pac-Man. Look at my finger. I'm gonna curve it. Everybody say curve it. Okay. And then I'm gonna make, think of my C inside my hand. So here, and look, you can see the shadow behind it. Okay, so it's going to protect these apples. So I'm drawing my C. Now look, there's the tree behind the tree. I know we're on top of the road. That's okay, I said we'd be overlapping today. Zigzag, 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 zig. And he's behind the tree to make this a frightening dragon. So let's give the bottom of his mouth. And then everybody say oval. It's just an oval, but we say it's silly, oval. And then you put another oval or a circle inside it there. Oh, letter V. Everybody say letter V. Remember, letter V, okay. Upside down V, look what that's gonna become. You're right, it's a frightening dragon. So I'm gonna have a one, a two, a three. And on the bottom, that's where his teeth would be here. A one, a two, a three. In the video, they actually have four. I'm gonna add a fourth one. Oh, and he needs his claws. Everybody say claws. So we're gonna have a curved line, kind of like the grass, but this time we're gonna have curve, curve, okay? And then there comes his paw. And you can have over here, curve, 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 and there is his paw, okay? So there's your dragon. Show your shoulder, buddy, your dragon. Such a good job making this frightening dragon that remember, he moved away and his hand got very shaky. Everybody say very shaky. That's right, and we're making a wave line. So make a wave line because he got scared. 
after that, what did he remember in the book, artist? He gets in a boat. So I'm gonna show you how to make a boat. We're gonna have curve, kind of a curve line here and a curve line here. Now, do you see why I don't see the bottom of my boat, artist? Isn't that cool? Because you wouldn't have a floating boat. You wouldn't get anywhere above the water. And then we're gonna have another curve. Everybody say curve. Good job. And then we're gonna make it have a mast, which is just a straight line. Everybody say straight line. Vertical. That's right. And then we're going to have, this is another shape. We're gonna have a curve line here, straight down here. And then there we have part of our boat. Just remember he goes to land and we're gonna move all the way over here. That's right. So we're gonna have our empty space. We're gonna overlap, that's okay. And he goes and he has a picnic. So over here, if you take a square and you skew it, it becomes a rhombus. So watch me first. I'm gonna take this line, okay? Kinda looks like a diamond. Have you ever seen a kite before? And then this line. And then there's my rhombus. And if you remember, what did he make? He had some nine kinds of pie. I'm not gonna worry about it. Remember we have a circle on its side as an oval. Everybody say oval. That's right. So you can put however many pies you want. We start with an oval. Then we have a curve and it goes back around. 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 You try artist to make the pie. If you can't, that's okay. And he actually has tiny little dots. Tiny little dots if you've had a pie. Those are the tiny little dots using the forks to make the pie, okay? Really tricky to draw. Remember there was a moose and a porcupine? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is draw the porcupine. I want you to think of his mouth. Okay, there's the mouth. And I want you to think of Pac-Man again. We have the C, so we go up, and then we have the bottom of it is the body, and we go down. Now that kind of looks like Pac-Man to Mrs. Milligan. And then I want you to think of hair, and it's diagonal, and it's going back, and look how cute that little porcupine is. Draw him, and then we need an eyeball. Do your best, artist. And we're just trying, we want tiny little bumps for his feet. He actually has four. Part artist is the moose. It's very hard to draw, but you're gonna try. First thing I want you to do is give me an upside down V. There's one upside down V. There's another upside down V. Do you see I have it behind the porcupine? Okay. And then I want you to connect. Oh, wait a minute. Let's make it a little bit. Now let's do that. Look, I made it a little thicker. Okay. And at the bottom, I want you to put a bump, a bump, a bump or a little oval. Okay. And we're going to connect it because he's, he, what was he? He was a moose. Okay. Now we're going to, like I said, this is hard. It's not going to look very good for Mrs. Milligan either, but that's okay. And then he has the top of his back. Okay. So I connect it there and he has three little lines. And Mrs. Milligan has the video up so I can look at it. And then he has two little, one bump, another bump, another bump. Okay. And then it comes down into the mouth. And there's a curve. You're trying, like I said, mine's not looking like a moose either, that's okay. And then we have the open mouth because he's very hungry because Harold couldn't eat everything. Back around, and that's my moose, as good as I can get. So over here, we're gonna do a mountain and I want you to do a wavy line. Remember, say wavy line. Okay, see my finger? Because remember, he climbed up the hill and he fell down the mountain and then we're gonna put the mountain all the way down to the horizon line. Everybody say mountain down to the horizon line. Very good, artist. And then what happens next? The next thing that he does is he makes a balloon. Remember, take your finger and make a circle. Do it right here next to the mountain. Take your finger, make a circle, and then try to make a circle as best you can. There's my circle. And if you remember, the circle had a box underneath. Everybody say box underneath. Okay, so there's my box. And that's right, it's a square. And he connected it with some string. So here's my string to connect to my, and this is a hot air balloon. Has anybody ever been on a hot air balloon? Mrs. Milligan hasn't, but I think they're beautiful. So there's his hot air balloon. So it's gonna get a little tricky. We're gonna add another line, another background line. Okay, and we're gonna make it curve. So start at the mountain with your finger and go to the tree. Start at the mountain with your finger and go to the tree. And if you have no space in here, just make it work artist, it's all right. So there it is. And the first thing that he did was make a house. And a house that he made was just, think about a square, okay? And then we had a roof, which is a triangle. And then inside that, we had windows, which you're right, those are squares. Make some square windows. And then we put a T in the middle. Everybody say T in the middle. And there's my house. Oh, and he had a chimney. There's another rectangle. And he looked and he looked and he still can't find his house. Let's see what's, and you're gonna have a coloring sheet of this. He made a bunch of buildings and they're tall buildings. So I want you to make some rectangles. There's one rectangle. Now watch artist, I can have a rectangle that's taller behind and I'm not gonna draw the whole thing. And it's touching artist. And maybe I have another one behind that. Do you see where I just added those lines and I created another building. If you want artist, we may not have time to do all this. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Draw me some little squares. And something you may not know, if it gets farther away, it's gonna be teeny tiny. So these windows will be bigger. Back here, maybe I would just do little dash lines like that to show that they were windows. And the same thing here. Okay, maybe they're 
We'll shade it in there and a little bigger, but we wouldn't see the whole detail because it's further back. Let's see what happens next. Hey, artist. So we go over here. I'm going to create another. Here's that line there. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to have another background line over here. And Harold went to a policeman because he was scared. So everybody say circle. That's right. There's the circle of the head. And then say another circle right in the middle of it. And then on top of it, another circle, another circle. And in the middle of that, another circle, another circle. And after that, we have his curved line of his mouth. And then he has ear, one ear, two ears, okay? And then we have an oval, everybody say oval. And it kind of looks like a jelly bean. It's smaller on this side, bigger up top. And then after that, we have the curve of his brim of his hat. So it comes back down and there would be his hat. I'm gonna color that in so you can see a little bit better. And his body, okay, we have his body, comes down like this are his arms he's pointing in the direction where Harold's supposed to go okay and then this right here this shape make this shape artist it's kind of a rectangle do you see the rectangle can you see the rectangle and then I put his arm and I that's another rectangle put his arm it's another rectangle and he has star looking hands which are pointy which is really cute so there's his hands over here he's pointing okay so we got little star hands like that and his legs so it kind of looks like over here when we had this animal, here's his legs. So we have one L, one I, okay, another I, parallel lines, parallel lines. And then we have it look like a little biscuit or a roll and there's his legs. And on his shirt, oh artist, this is hard to draw. He had a star, okay. So there is the star of the police officer. I filled up my whole paper. What I'm gonna do next is remember the moon. So everybody say, turn it over on the back. All right, so I turn over the back, and in the middle of your paper, towards the top, I want you to make the crescent. Okay, Kinder, you've done a great job on the picture on the back. What Mrs. Milligan wants you to do now is turn it over so it's on the back. And remember, the beginning of the story, we had the moon, the crescent-shaped moon. So Mrs. Milligan, remember, we make the curve. Okay, so there's our crescent-shaped moon. And in the story, he remembered where he first saw the moon. So everybody say rectangle, and draw with your finger first if you need to. So around the moon, everybody say around the moon. Very good. We're gonna put a rectangle. And he makes a window. So right in the middle, I want you to take your purple crayon and make a horizontal line. Then we're gonna make some curtains. Now watch what I do. I take my finger and then I bump down, okay, and wavy. So let's do it again. Finger, curve in, out, and wavy. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna come down from the line, that midline there, out, and wavy and so there's the curtains and then same thing on this side so we make it symmetrical out and wavy and then we have some curtains that stick outside that line okay then down here artist i want you to take your finger and i want you to say floor that's right we're gonna go draw the floor i'm gonna go all the way across now we're not erasing anything today remember so i want you to remember that our lines are gonna go on top of our floor that's okay so i'm gonna have this is gonna be part of the bed and this is gonna be part of the bed this is gonna be shorter so i want you to draw just a straight line vertical going up and down. Looks like a lowercase l. And then over here, we have the rest of our bed, okay? Now, we're gonna think, remember, he drew himself to sleep. So I want you to put a nice big bump. Do you see how Mrs. Milligan's in drawing with my finger first? Okay, after that, I want you to do a smaller bump. That's right, that's his pillow. And we're gonna draw ourselves to sleep. We're gonna put our little bed thing on there, okay? Then we have the line for the mattress. And there's the bottom of the pillow. Kind of looks like an eyeball, doesn't it? And then we're gonna put a nice head. So make a nice big head here. And if you want, you can put a little face on there. If you choose to, that's up to you. And down on the floor, we have his crayon because he falls to sleep. Oh, we could give him some hair. And you can put little Z's if you want to because he's fast asleep. And there you have it, artist. Harold and the purple crayon.